What's going on YouTube, Jeans here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm super excited to be bringing you guys a Regulation F Gouging Fire team. Now, Gouging Fire is a brand new Entei Paradox form that has just been released into the game from the Indigo Disc DLC. And I don't know if it's just me, but I think this is my favorite looking Paradox Pokemon out of all the Paradox Pokemon. It's legit Entei with a Samurai Helmet. It looks so dope, cannot wait to use this Pokemon. But Gouging Fire right here has access to a brand new move called Burning Bulwark, and we're actually rocking it in today's video. Now this move right here acts as a protect. It puts up a burning shield, but if a physical Pokemon comes in contact with it, they actually get burned. So it's basically Baneful Bunker for Gouging Fire. But instead of poisoning, it burns. Hopefully that made sense. If not, just watch the video. We'll definitely be using it down the line. But Gouging Fire also is rocking out with Dragon Dance, giving it a plus one attack and plus one speed boost whenever we use that move. Then it has access to two stab moves with Dragon Claw and Fire Blitz. So great moves right there. They can do some crazy damage considering this Pokemon has a crazy high attack stat. And it has Dragon Dance, like we already mentioned, to boost that attack up a little bit more. But this team also features some great other Pokemon such as Whimscott for uh, Weather and Tailwind support. Yeah, Fluttermane, Roaring Moon, Incineroar, and Rillaboom, all meta Pokemon that are going to be so strong, making this team do a lot of work and probably grab us a lot of wins. But you guys know the deal. If you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the Jeans community yet, I seriously don't know what you're doing. Click that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you do not miss out on any of my Regulation F content. But that out the way, let's hop into our first match. Now this team right here I got from Twitter made by a person that goes by the name of Luigi. Huge shout out to you. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code. I will be linking their stuff down in the description below along with the Pokepace. If you guys want to check out the stats, all the EVs, all that good stuff. Again, Pokepace down in the description below. Go check it out. But we're hopping into our first match and this one's looking troublesome, right? Kyogre. That Pokemon is ridiculously OP. We gotta watch out for that thing. They also have Arch Ludon, another brand new Pokemon to this game, alongside with Vaporeon, Venusaur, um, Suicune, and Zapdos. So their main thing is looking like Kyogre Zapdos, right? Nice little rain squad. So I'm thinking of bringing Wimscott. Wimscott is my only way of weather control. And I can also lead that with the Gouging Fire. If they want to lead like the water Pokemon, I can then just Terrastalize into straight Dragon and kind of get after it that way. So I really like this lead right here. In the back end, they got too many water types for me not to bring Rollaboom. And last but not least, Fluttermane with the Focus Sash always comes up clutch. It always comes up clutch. So we're locking in this squad. Let's look to grab ourselves our first win using Gouging Fire. Now, Gouging Fire, I haven't ever used before right it's brand new and i was just looking at its stats and this pokemon has crazy attack stat. it's attack stat should be close to 200 and it's hp stat i believe it was in the 200s right so it's a very bulky pokemon with relatively decent speed that hits like a truck i think it's just super dope all around but they're gonna end up bringing out vaporeon and zapdos and let me check out these stats real quick gouging fire 204 hp with a 183 attack 120 speed Defense is nice, special defense is solid. This Pokemon, I think it's gonna be pretty viable in, in some ranked battles when it comes out. But they end up going Zapdos alongside with Vaporeon. And from here, I could set up Talon. I definitely could. And I think I'm just gonna go Energy Ball alongside with Dragon Ants with the Terra type too. I think that's just solid. I think it's definitely solid here. Maybe should have set up a Tailwind because Hurricane could be a little bit of a problem onto my Whimsicott. But I think from here, we should be fine. So I'm just going to Terrastalize the lovely little Gouging Fire. And we're going to throw an Energy Ball with Whimsicott. So Energy Ball is going to come out here. Whimsicott's rather fast and it does a decent chunk of damage. Not too shabby. Hurricane does fly here and that's what I was worried about. Was the Hurricane just doing that? So yeah, definitely should have set up a Tailwind. I still think we're fine because I believe Vaporeon is going for a water move here. And we're setting up this Dragon Dance. So D-Dance coming out here. We get that plus one on speed. We get that plus one on attack. Make us outspeed most of these Pokemon here. And we're going for an Icy Wind. Ooh, slowing us back down. And doing nice damage. Ah, oh, we don't like that. We don't like that. So now Leftovers come out here. Rillaboom going to be our best friend. We're going to bring out Rillaboom. And we're just going to attack that... Uh, that's Zapdos. So yeah, we definitely should have set up a Tailwind last turn instead of attacking. But I wasn't really expecting that Zapdos to drop a Hurricane like that without Rain being set. But we bring out Rollaboom and we just fake out you, right? I think we fake out and we get rid of this Zapdos as well. The Dragon Call. 
I'm bad at it. Because they could end up swapping Vaporeon. Maybe just protecting it. Maybe terrestrializing it. And I think they're going to terrestrialize it, considering, obviously, we have Grassy Glide ready to roll. So they have terrestrialize and Vaporeon. They're going to go into the straight fire typing. And maybe I'll just Dragon Call that next turn. Maybe. Maybe we will. We'll see. We'll see. Fake Out's going to come here up against the Zapdos. Zapdos is going to flinch. Actually, he didn't flinch. Oh, we have the clear amulet, so our uh, our speed's fine. We're cooking with speed. We are cooking with speed. I totally forgot we had the clear amulet. So it ends up Citrus bearing up. Zapdos is now going to flinch, which is massive. Another Icy Wind's going to fly here. So I don't mind that too much. I don't mind that. Gouging Fire is taking damage, but again, it's going to be faster than all these guys. That's a nice speed stat here. So from here, I'm thinking of just taking out the Zapdos, right? It could definitely detect, but we're out speeding it. I think we just take it out, right? I could take it out, and I could just U-turn out of here. And just go into, like, Fluttermean. But that's still a little bit of a problem. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of Zapdos here. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Hopefully it's not detecting, and it's not. Cool. So, Gouging Fire are gonna be able to do some big-time damage here. Say bye-bye to you. And dump on that bulky little Zapdos. That Zapdos was actually pretty bulky. Especially with the Citrus Spray as well. He ends up doing that. And he's just going to go for a Terror Blast. Of course you go for a Terror Blast. I really thought you were going to go for another Ice Human. But we're able to soak that no problem. I'm going to swap out my Roll Boom and save it for later. We definitely want it for later. And we're going to bring out Fluttermane here. So we're in a little bit of a hole considering we lost our Whimsicott pretty easily. But now I can bring out you with Focus Sash. So Fluttermane going to get cooking. My Gouging Fire is still plus one on speed and attack, which is beautiful. And I wonder who they're going to bring out here. Is it going to be Kyogre? Kyogre is terrifying, man. <laughs> that thing is so scary. Kind of hope it's just like Archaludon or something. Something we can we can, we can can fight, right? And it is going to be Archaludon. That's cool. So Archaludon gets pumping out here. Um, huh. I might just double down on Archaludon. Leave Vaporeon out there for a little bit. I do need to get rid of Vaporeon though. But you know what? I am still just gonna double down into into Arch Loot on here. Yeah, because if I don't double down to Arch Loot on, actually, let's do this. Instead of going for it, am I going for Shadow Ball? Instead of going for Shadow Ball, might as well use Moon Blast. It does more damage. We'll Moon Blast and we will drag ball this slot. So we're gonna double down this slot. Hopefully, no protect. And there is no protect, so we're getting off beautiful half damage there. And this thing is going to get defense boost, but I still believe this Dragon Claw should KO. We got the Terror Boost, we got Stab Boost, all that good stuff. And we leave it on one? We leave it on one! That really hurts the soul, because now that happens. And are you also Icy winning? Oh my lord, come on, man! Come on, man, that ain't right. That simply is not right. Oh, that hurts the soul. That one hurts the soul. That one definitely hurts the soul. That you live on one HP. Because now my terrain ends very soon, right? So, say they do have Kyogre in the back end. Oh, dude, that just hurts so bad. That really just sucks. Say they do have Kyogre in the back end. We're just having a problem. We're just having a problem. He's plus two on... We're just... Mm, the Grassy Glide him. Ah, oh, this is just a problem. I'm just gonna fake out you. And then just go for this, right? Yeah, that's my play. So we'll fake out the Vaporeon. Oh, that's so annoying, man. Living on one HP. Because now if Kyra comes out here, the terrain ends, right? I think it ends in like one turn. But you really need a terrain. It's just massive. Vaporeon's gonna flinch here. And we started off this match a little rough. I mean, I should have just popped a Tailwind for a squad. It would have helped us out tremendously. Let's see who their final Pokemon is. It's got to be Kyogre, right? It's got to be it. I'm going to be so upset. It's Kyogre. Please don't bring Kyogre. It's Kyogre. Yeah, we, 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 we knew this. We knew this already. Do we still have terrain? Oh, if we still have terrain, we do. This could be good. This could be real good. So we have Grass Terrain for one turn. Hopefully he's not protecting because I just want to go for Grass God and double down with Dragon Claw here. Don't protect. You don't protect. Hold up. 
Wait a minute, we leave you on one as well? What is up with these one HP bandits here? Going crazy. It's all right. That's why we double down into it. Getting rid of Kyogre, he did not protect that turn to, last, to waste out the last turn of Grassy Terrain. And Gouging Fire is just ripping. Icy Wind's gonna come across here. Both you guys are gonna survive. And I think we still win this match, right? Oh yeah, we definitely still win this match. Gouging Fire ripping. He's so bulky too. He's so bulky, just picking up some big time KOs. Big time KOs. But from here, um, honestly, that terror type was so perfect. From here, we're just gonna go for a wood hammer, to be honest. It'll probably do more damage. Actually, no. We're gonna just go go. Oh no, actually, yeah, wood hammer. We take recoil. Yeah, let's just go grassy glide, and we're just gonna stick with our dragon call here. So dragon call, grassy glide coming out here. One dragon call should do at least half. I believe so. And yeah, it does. Awesome. And he just goes for another icy one, which both my Pokemon so. Good thing for this clear amulet. Really helping us out, especially up against Intimidate Pokemon and Icy Wind here in match number one. The grass guy's gonna fly, chip up a little bit of damage, and this match did not look good for us in the beginning. But Gouging Fire after getting that D-Dance set up, oh my lord. OP. Very, very strong Pokemon. But from here, we grass guy, we Dragon Claw again, and there's gonna be match number one. Go into your boy, Gouging Fire, absolutely lighting it up. Let's go hop into our second match, look for a second win. In match number one, Gouging Fire definitely carried us. We lost our women's cut early to a bad play by me, but luckily after the D-Dance, Gouging Fire was able to just pretty much sweep that match. But now we're going up against a Gouging Fire as well as High Travel, two brand new Pokemon, and Arch Ludon, so three brand new Pokemon from the Indigo Disc. They also have Thuscops, they got Titar, and they got Latios, who is a fast, solid special attacker. But I think for a solid lead for us, we want to go Gouging Fire. I think Gouging Fire is just all around a great lead. And we can lead it with a fake out user such as Incineroar, right? Yeah, so we can fake out, we can set up the DNS, so we can pretty much get going from there. I really like Fluttermane here up against a few of these Pokemon, such as the Hydrapple and the Latios and the Titar. And then in our final slot, we could go Roaring Moon, or we could just go in with Rillaboom. Rillaboom, not too shabby here, but Roaring Moon... Also pretty solid. And you know what? I'm going to go Roaring Moon. Especially with that boost energy. It's just going to work out tremendously, right? It's just going to work out great. So we're going to go into that. Maybe I should have brought Whimscott because I could have popped Sunny Day and just get a bunch of Protosynthesis boost, right? Really, really good. That would make Gouging Fire's attack stat insane. Absurd. It would make it absurd, to be honest with you guys. But they're going to end up leading Hydrapple and Dusclops. So Hydrapple and Dust clubs come out here. They're probably popping the Trick Room, right? And to be honest, if they're gonna pop the Trick Room, I might just set up a D Dance for Attack Boost and attack the Hydrapple. Maybe just parting shot the Hydrapple. Is there a shot you protect? Is there a chance that you protect and then go into Trick Room? Maybe. I'd rather just mind assisting special attack just so we're not dealing with it right now. Right? I know it has Fickle Beam. Brand new move can hit like a truck. And I'm part dragon type. That's looking a little scary. So I'm just going to do this parting shot. They're probably going to set up Trick Room. We might have a little bit of a problem. And of course you protect. So protect comes out here. Okay. That's fine by me. Dragon Dance is at least going to get set up for us. I know the speed boost doesn't really help us in Trick Room. But the attack boost is going to help us. So I do like that. Um, for this next play, I think we go for another parting shot into the Hydrapple. And we just try to go for a Burning Bulwark just to kind of protect. And I might be wrong here, but I don't know if Burning Bulwark acts as a protect and goes first with that. But I'm still going to give it a try. We're going to do that, and I'm just going to go for a parting shot into the Hydrapple. Where do I go for Flare Blitz? Nah, I think parting shot's going to be fine. We can get Fake Out. We can start wasting out some Trick Room turns. So I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. I'm cool with that. So we'll see what Hydrapple wants to do here. Such a cool Pokemon, and it really thrives in the Trick Room. It really does thrive. We could have Terrasilized, because a lot of them do rock Hydro Pump, but I still think we're fine. He's going to end up going for a Helping Hand here, and Burning Bulwark is not coming out here. Oh, it does. Cool. Burning Bulwark does come out here. Sets up a nice lovely Protect for us. And Fickle Beam is coming after us. So we get a big time block. Big time block. And now on top of that, I get off a parting shot. So that's a solid turn. That's a solid turn for us. Very, very solid turn. 
And this is the time I wish I had, what's it called? This is the time I wish I had, uh, Robum, just for double fake out support. Be beautiful. Be beautiful. Now from here, I could go Flutter main. Yeah, we're definitely gonna go Flutter main. I think I might just hard swap Gouging Fire. Play this Trick Room slow, right? Hmm. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. We're definitely gonna go Flutter main here. We're definitely going Flutter main. This is such a good matchup already. I gotta waste out this Trick Room though. Fickle Beam seems like it's gonna be a problem, but we actually might be able to soak it here. So you know what? I'm just gonna go Dragon Claw, and I'm just gonna Shadow Ball this slot down. Yeah, especially with you being minus one, I get Helping Hand with the boost. My special defense rather decent. So I think we should be fine. He goes for a Skitter Smack. Doing negative five damage. Skitter Smack coming out here, dropping my special attack. How dare you? And Fickle Beam's gonna come across here. And of course you go all out for this attack, and you go double damage. That's absurd. I was really curious to see if that would have KO'd me in one shot or not. So Fickle Beam is a move that's like, it's Dragon Pulse, but from time to time, I think it's 30% chance it can go for double damage. And that's exactly what it just did there. It went for double damage. Really absurd. I don't like that one bit. But I think from here, we're just going to go into, I guess, Roaring Moon. And hard swap the what's called. We'll, we'll protect. This is what we're going to do. We're going to protect the Roaring Moon here. Oh my god, that's so absurd. We're gonna protect the Roar Moon, we're gonna swap the Flutter Main. Wow. It's so absurd. Double damage. Skitter Smack dropping our special attack real low. And we're still trying to just waste out these Trick Room turns. I really do think our our, uh, our boy would have been able to eat that one up. If it wasn't an all-out attack. So yeah, it does like about 70 base damage, I believe, Fickle Beam. But every here and there, it gets an all-out attack, 30% chance to do double damage. It's a really cool move. And a big RNG play on his turn. But we're going to now go into our Incineroar here. And just protect him. Because I think Pickle Beam might be coming into the slot. So we have to play this one. Trying to play it a little bit better here. Trying to play this one a little bit better. He goes for a Syrup Bomb. Which we just protect. So now. My play is going to be to swap into Fluttermane. I could go for knockoff, but we're going to swap into Fluttermane here. And then just parting shot into this thing. Yeah, it's going to be my play. Because I'm going to waste out these Trick Room turns. And I'm, I want Warm Moon on the field to take out those cops just so they don't set up another Trick Room, right? I can knock off its Evo Light. I can really get after it that way. So I'm going to swap into you just in case you're using Fickle Beam here. And I believe you are. This seems like a Fickle Beam kind of play, right? Yeah, yeah. So I read you hard. I read you hard. I gotta play this one good. <clears throat> Parting shot now comes out here again, and we're gonna bring out War Moon. I believe that's last turn Trick Room. If not, we can just double protect this one out. And kinda go from there. But we have to play this one so slow if we wanna win this. So slow. But now we go in the Roaring Moon. We got all of our Pokemon back to normal stats, right? Our stats are normal, which is huge. And Trick Room is gone. So bye bye, Trick Room. We now double down into this thing and we get rid of it. We now, yeah, we now double down in this thing and get rid of it. He might swap. He might swap the apple right now, but he's minus two on special attack. I'm not too, I'm not too worried about him. I really am not. So we should be able to soak up shot. We're going to get rid of the dust cops here. I want that thing gone. I want it out of here. Already wasted out trick room. It took me a while to do it. And he just withdraws the dust cops. Pain. Pain right now. T-Tar's gonna come out here. The T-Tar gets cooking here. We're gonna take out its item. I don't really see Fickle Beam doing any crazy damage to me. And we get rid of its weakness policy, which is pretty massive. The Shadow Ball gets cooking. And it's doing like negative 5 damage. Well, we got special defense drop, which is huge. Serap Bomb gonna come in here and slow me down a tad bit. So from here, I want to keep speed. So I think our best bet would just be to Daz and Gleam here. I might Terra Daz and Gleam and set up a Tailwind here as well. This is such a good match. Even though Gouging Fire went out early here, this is such a good match. Yeah, we're going to Terra Fairy. We're going to go for that. And I'm going to set up the Tailwind. I want speed for my squad. I need speed for my squad, I should say. I need it. I need it. So 
Titar's already minus one on special defense. So if we land this stats in green, well, I mean, we're going to land this stats in green. It should KO it, as long as he doesn't Terrastalize. I don't know about the uh, the high Hydrapple. That thing is pretty bulky. But it is minus two on special attack. So it's not really posing such a big threat to me. But he's going to end up probably Terrastalizing Titar. Yep. And you're going to go into a straight fairy type. So a lovely fairy type comes out here. <clears throat> and we're gonna get some speed going. The tailwind gets cooking. Surprised they haven't swapped Hydrapple yet. And Dazzling Gleam's flying. Then we get the Gleam out and about. Beautiful. Almost KOing the T-Tar and get rid of the Hydrapple. We don't have to worry about that. Almost KOing that thing. <clears throat> heavy Slam's gonna fly. Of course you got Heavy Slam, man. Of course you got Heavy Slam. Of course you got Heavy Slam. Wow, so that Terror type really clutched up for him. Really clutched up for him. So Buffett's going to fly through here. T-Tar is now taking Buffett, so he's going to die on the next turn. Um, hmm. I think now might be like a fake out. A fake out into like a break and swipe kind of play. Hmm. Let's see what they go into. They're going to go into Gouging Fire. Oh, this one's good. This is a good battle. This is a real good battle. Real good battle. So, again, you're going to die out to Buffets. I think we just fake out you and we break and swipe at the same time. I could take off item as well. But breaking swipe is going to be solid. Look at the Intimidates off. Intimidates. Yo, this is such a good battle. But I need what's it called? I need Roaring Moon if I want to win this match. I need him. So, breaking swipe does not affect T Tar at all because it is fairy type. But we do flinch this guy. And why didn't he go down minus one? Oh, you clear amulet just like mine was? I think you are. I think you are clear amulet. You might be clear amulet. You little booger. Yeah, I should have noticed he was clear amulet. I didn't pay attention when the intimidate went out. So I should have just checked just in case. But yeah, you're clear amulet just like mine. Yo, what a second match. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. If you guys lasted this long, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to Gene's channel, come on, man. Click that subscribe button. Help me out a little bit. So they end up going back into Dust Cops here. I do have knockoff to deal with that. Um, he already popped Terra. He already popped Terra. Um, hmm. He already popped Terra. Uh... I think I just doubled down on that, right? I gotta get rid of I gotta get rid of that thing. I'm not too worried about this cops. Because for a burning bulwark kinda sucks. This might burn me. This might burn me actually. This could be devastating. This could be devastating. Are you popping trick room as well? Yeah, I take a burn. Wow. So the gouging fire doing me dirty. And the burn comes out before my attack. Wow. Big time plays from him. That burning bulwark really clutched up. And now he goes for a sunny day. Not the sunny day. And honestly, you probably my photosynthesis. I get an attack boost. Hold up. And I'll boost my flare blitz damage. Hold up. This one ain't over yet. This one ain't over yet. This one is not over yet because we got speed with our tailwind, correct? We do. How much damage is this flare bus really going to do? That's the real question. So we're going to go for another breaking swipe here. Going to double down with flare blitz. And again, if I can just get rid of this gouging fire here, if I can KO this thing, we win this all day. But I don't I don't know if I can do enough damage here. So I don't, I don't think we're doing a lot at all. I don't think flare blitz is nearly doing enough. I don't think it's nearly doing enough, even in the sun. Yeah, no. It's not. It's not. So now let's see who they leave on the field. That's the real question. They're going to leave Incent or Roaring Moon on the field. They leave Roaring Moon on the field. Oh my god, this is going to be so close. I got to go for Breaking Swipe. Where do I read the, the uh, Burning Bulwark? I'm gonna protect here and just 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 feel out what he's doing here first. We'll protect. We'll protect. We'll see what he's doing. I know I take bird damage, but I'm kind of hoping he's protecting here. Yes, he is. Okay, so we protect here. Now next turn I can go for a. 
Oh, we might have this. This is going to cut it close. We're going for another breaking swipe next turn. Oh my lord, dude. This match is so good. If we can go for another breaking swipe and pick up a KO and then survive whatever he has to do, we can just use a knockoff, get rid of that Evo Light, and start doing some damage to that thing. Oh my god, yo, this match is just showcasing Gouging Fire really well. We had it on our side, lost early. Now, their Gouging Fire comes out here. And can we KO here? We do KO. Yo, hold up, yo. If I win this match, y'all gotta subscribe. If I win this match and you're not subscribed, you gotta subscribe. I don't think we're gonna win this match. You got Skitter Smack. Wow, and that's just KO me like that. You get a crit. Come on, man. I need it like one more turn. That one hurts. That one definitely hurts. Skitter smack KO me. We're one and one. Let's go up to our third. Look for that winning record. Really? Skitter smack KO me? That one's tough to live down. A physical attacking bug move that for some reason Duskops is using. And Duskops doesn't hit hard, so I wasn't really expecting to KO me. I knew it was going to be super effective, but I just wasn't expecting it to KO me. But. It's whatever. It'd be like that. Such a solid match from both me and my opponent in that last one. So I'm actually happy with that recording. But third and final match is here. It's winning record time. We're going up against Palafin, who I haven't seen in a good bit. High Drapple yet again, who's so strong. They also have Archaludon. They're also rocking out with Whimsicott, Fezendipity, and Sinistra. Sinistra. So Gouging Fire, we definitely want to use. Maybe I should bring him in as a back end Pokemon. Could be good for us. And we could maybe just get like Whimsicott and like. Fluttermane or Whimsicott and you because I could set up Sunny Day maybe parting shot with you and Cinnaror and kind of go from there or I could just go Whimsicott alongside with all my Paradox but one that actually sounds like it could work rather well and I'm actually all about it so I'm going to do all my Paradox Pokemon alongside with Sunny Day Whimsicott they have no way of changing weather unless does Whimsicott even learn Rain Dance? I was going to say, unless Whimsicott has Rain Dance, but I don't even think it learns Rain Dance. So, we'll try it from there. We shall try. But we're 1-1. One one. Gotta grab you guys that winning record. Galaxy Fire has been awesome in today's video. We used it, our opponent used it, and we're about to use it again. Now, Arch on Shiny, that's my first time seeing that. That looks incredible. That really does look incredible. But from here, I think we're just going to use up Focus Ash. And actually, we're going to Sunny Day. Oh, are we going to Sunny Day here? No, we're going to tail one, just in case you flash cannon in that slot. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to Moonblast down the Arch Ludon. I'm not too worried about Whimsicott, but I'd rather deal some damage on the Arch Ludon here. So I'll do that, and then I'll potentially just pop Sunny Day. The Tailwind out and about for the squad. Let's see what their Whimsicott going for. You going for Tailwind as well? You're not. What are you doing? Oh, that's some good damage. What are you doing, Whimsicott? Eat up. So you just want to stamina boost and go for body presses? That's fine. I mean, I just dealt some big time damage onto you. And we're sitting in a solid spot. A lovely spot. I don't think they have any first turn priority. And with my speed with Tailwind, that works well for us. So beat up Wimscott. Gonna be a big part in the meta. I mean, you got stamina, Arch Loot on, and you also have like justified uh, Terrakion coming in here. That's gonna be a threat. As we're going for the flash cannon, we're able to soak really well. And from here, I'm just gonna set up the sunny day. Get that protosynthesis pop and just dazzle gleam. Get a lovely little gleam going. Gleam gleam in the sunny day. Protosynthesis for the, my whole team for the rest of the match. <laughs> and we got Tailwind up. They're looking good. Looking good right here. Looking real solid. I think Archer Loot on or I think Wimscott shouldn't have went for beat up there. I think they should have just straight up attacked me. Or probably just set up a Tailwind, just like we're doing. Just so they can uh, kind of keep speed control with us. But now we pop the Sunny Day. We get the Protosynthesis pop. Special attack's going to get boosted for Fluttermane. And if I had to guess, they're going for Tailwind now, right? Yep. Tailwind here. And Arch Ludon, you're a goner. You're dead. See you later. Get on out my game. Wimscott, you can stay for a little bit. Yep, and you are going to stay for a little bit. That actually works perfectly that he's going to stay for a little bit. I could actually Encore it into a Tailwind if I want to. I could. Sinister's now going to come out here. And now it's just actually a perfect time just to swap. Now it's just a perfect time to actually swap my uh, my Whimscott into Gouging Fire. 
So I'm gonna swap, and I'm just gonna protect this turn. I could actually Shadow Ball, but I have a feeling that their Sinistra might just protect or even Thrasilize at this point. So let's just protect, read out what they're doing, get out Gouging Fire in the Sun, and pretty much just start cleaning up this match, right? It seems perfect. It seems perfect. So the Whimsy sl or Swap, we'll save him for later. Bring out one of the coolest looking Pokemon, Gouging Fire. And get that attack boost from the uh, our ability. So against a Blitz on Whimsy, yeah, dude, that's a, that's a perfect time for us to, us to actually swap. And they're going to bring out Fezzendipity. So Fezzendipity is really the main threat here. I'm not too really worried about Sinisha. And this is exactly why I protected the, uh, the Fluttermane. Because I know they were expecting me to drop Shadow Ball. So they're just going to Terrasilize here. So we'll read out their options. We'll kind of go from there. And I think that Fire Terror type actually a little bit of a threat to us, right? I might have to just double down on that. Might just have to double down on that. He ends up going for Shadow Ball here. It's a great protect on our end. Um, I think from here, we could set up the Dragon Dance, but I don't think just point. I think we just start Flare Blitzing instead of Pheasantipity. And on top of that, we'll just start throwing Shadow Balls into Sinisha. Trying to do as much damage as we can right now. So, Shadow Ball coming out here. Lovely damage there. And this... Oh, you go for Moonblast. We should be able to soak that. Yeah. And of course you get the poison on me. Toxic Chain coming in hot. Coming in hot. But this Flare Blitz should probably be able to KO Pheasantipity. Stab, we're in the sun. We got Protosynthesis. Yeah, yo, Gouging Fire hits like a truck. So good. It, hit, it hits like it has Choice Band on, but it doesn't. It's just absolutely lighting up. But we did some big time damage onto him. Shadow Ball is going to KO us. But at this point, I can just bring out my boy. The, uh, what is that Pokemon called? The Roaring Moon. And kind of just clean up this match. Pretty simple. Once I was able to get rid of that Arch Luna, I kind of seen this Foreman. I was just like, now we have a lot. Actually, I should bring out Whimsicott. Which I'm going to do. And just get some speed. Yeah, we're, we'll play this one safe. So they got Wimscott of their own. Who do I even attack here? I feel like if anyone's gonna be if anyone's gonna protect, it's gonna be Sinistra, so. I'll stick with Flare Blitz. I will go into Wimscott and I will set up the Tailwind again. Actually, they're gonna outspeed us. I should probably protect it. Oh, this could be rough. This could be rough. Sinistra is gonna protect. We're gonna set up the Tailwind. But I think that Wimscott might outspeed us here. You go for a leech seed. Okay, that's that's fine. You're dead. Okay, cool. I thought maybe they would just go for a Moonblast and outspeed us in the Tailwind. Take out my Gouging Fire and then have a shot at this, but... No, you decide to set up a leech seed. Now you just get Flare Blitz. Right to the face. Get on out of here. Get on out of here, little cotton ball. Get on out of here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, worrying for nothing. We're going to be able to grab ourselves a 2-1 winning record this next turn. Their Tailwind is actually going to end, and Galaxy Fire can just Dragon Claw. And wrap this one up, no problem. So, we're just going to click the Dragon Claw. We're going to click Energy Ball, if even if that's going to do anything. And wrap this one up. So, GG to our opponent. GG to our opponent, and they go for the Double Protect. Come on, man. Dragon Claw, Galaxy Fire. Finish off this video. Actually, Wimscott goes first. Can you KO Wimscott? You do! Wimscott stealing the KO. What a way to finish off the third battle. Gouging Fire absolutely lighting it up in today's video. We grab ourselves a 2-1 winning record, and we use this Pokemon to its fullest potential. We get to use Dragon Claw, Flare Blitz, both boosted by the Dragon Dance, and we also get to show off its new protect move, Burning Bulwark. Other Pokemon on this team absolutely thrived out, especially with Whimscott, Pop, and Sunny Day. We had three Paradox Pokemon, so all of them with Protosynthesis got that extra boost, and we had two Fake Out users with Incineroar and roll boom but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positive today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody